Hello, sir. Mm-hmm. Ladies, so agree with us kindly. Так. So, you know, now we have a period of Troitskis. So last, uh, uh, last week was Володя Троицкий, now Евгений Вадимович. So we are hearing, listening to you with great interest, so you can begin. Please. Okay, thank you. Uh, so first, uh, I would like to thank uh, Alexander Yakovlevich uh, and uh, uh, Alexey Yulievich for uh, inviting me. Uh, it's a pleasure for us. Uh, thank you. Uh, so, um, and uh, what uh, I wish uh, to speak about. Um, so, in fact, uh, 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 <clears throat> the uh, topic is uh, Mm, is seriously related, uh, connected with the talk of uh, Vladimir Manuilov no. uh, uh, concerning uh, concerning his example as a uh, example contra examples some uh, contra examples uh, concerning sister algebras and uh, functionals. Uh, so. Um, so uh or maybe i'll speak a little bit later after some so uh, nevertheless i wish to recall some definitions uh and uh, i will not use theorems from uh, uh the mentioned talk but so i'll start uh, from some definitions so what are um, so um We will speak about Hilbert sister modules. Uh, over uh, uh, sister algebra A, which is uh, uh, most uh, mostly in this uh, in this talk, it will be unital. Unital. Uh, so this these are right. Uh, modules, a uh, modules equipped with the um, so-called uh, a inner product. So um, if uh, we have a uh, module M and uh, two elements of in this module, so it is defined uh, the Mm, uh, in a product which is uh, uh, lies in the algebra A, and with uh, uh, we have uh, the usual mm-hmm. properties like this one. Mm-hmm. Um, that one and uh, other forms of uh, 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 so it is sesquilinear and uh, also uh, of course uh, we can introduce uh, the norm and the norm of M Can be defined uh, using the uh, this inner product like this. Uh, so uh, and uh, M is uh, uh, Banach is a Banach module. With respect to this uh, this norm, so uh, I will not go uh, in further details of definition. Uh, it uh, maybe I'll give some examples. 
so the first it is uh, a uh, over itself with uh, uh, the inner product of this form. Then, uh, of course, uh, an ideal in algebra A also can serve as uh, such a module. Uh, in particular, uh, of uh, a special interest, it would be the, the in this talk the case of uh, uh, of uh, uh, continuous functions vanishing and in zero uh, as a module over the algebra of all continuous. So this is this is a particular case of an ideal in A. Okay. Uh, so uh, then uh, in a more general situation. Uh, a free module, a finite sum uh, of A and uh, its sub-modules, especially, uh, so we'll call it projective, finitely generated, such that we have uh, this sum, this decomposition, the direct sum, and also, at the end uh, of our talk, we will speak about um, uh, free home operators uh, over C star uh, well, we will uh, we will uh, um, deal with uh, the module A two of A, which is formed by all sequences of. Uh, elements of A uh, such that the series uh, is non-convergent uh, is no con con convergent and uh, the inner product of two elements of this form uh, is the sum of the series. Uh, of course, one, uh, one needs to prove that uh, this, the, 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 this uh, series is non-convergent and that uh, uh, that this module is complete and so on, but uh, everything uh, can be done. So, and almost evident. Okay, so uh, also we uh, will deal with operators. Operators. Uh, uh, this these uh, are uh, bounded. A homomorphisms. And uh, uh, in contrast with the, the um, with the say separable or uh, infinite dimensional uh, Hilbert space uh, and not each operator admits an adjoint operator. In a Hilbert space, uh, an adjoint operator um, exists for each bounded operator, but this is not the case for, uh, for Hilbert modules. So for example, if uh, <coughs> we consider the inclusion uh, 
of the above uh, modules, which is evidently a bounded uh, homomorphism. Uh, one will be not able to construct uh, the joint because uh, this is uh, this is evidently even uh, philosophically because uh, you will uh, need to send somewhere the unit function on uh, uh, um, uh, this uh, distinguished element of uh, C or of, of of this module. You need to send it to somewhere here. And there is no distinguished elements in this uh, in this module. So even even and this very very general uh, general um, uh, general uh, approach. So a, fir a first look at the situation, we understand that uh, uh, there is no there is no um, a joint operator in this situation. Uh, a little uh, bit uh, more more uh, classical and typical example is the the following. Uh, now we wish to map, say, using the same algebra of continuous functions, uh, uh, to itself. So th this is uh, a functional. A is uh, in this case. So this is an example of a functional, uh, which is con uh, which can be constructed uh, uh, in the following way, uh, def defined in the following way. So uh, we consider uh, a zero one say functions. Uh, so. Uh, of norm one, so this will be f one. Then this will be f two. This will be f three, and so on. Consider such a sequence, and consider an element f one, f two, and so on. Uh, and evidently defines a functional. F uh, of A is sum of uh, uh, so this is uh, since uh, uh, since this sum is convergent, then in particular the norm of uh, uh, A sub I tend to zero. So one can understand that this uh, this series is also non-convergent, and uh, in fact, uh, in fact, each such sequence uh, such sequence def defines an a functional on this algebra if. Uh, uh, the partial sums. of this series are uniformly partial sums are uniformly bounded. Uniformly bounded. So um, so this is this is our but uh, uh, if you try to define an adjoint, uh, so in fact, uh, this is a sort of matrix form for uh, so if we have, so this is one to infinity uh, matrix, okay? And the adjoint uh, operator should have a matrix of this form. So and uh, uh, and the column is the image of uh, one of the unit element under F star. 
and uh, in particular the the series should be convergent mm. and this is not the case so so this is not uh, not an example of not a jointable operator so we have to be uh, uh, to be careful uh, considering uh, adjointable and non-adjointable operators. So uh, if we start from an arbitrary A module, uh, Hilbert A module M, then we can consider uh, the module of its anti linear functionals. This is because uh, we have left side, right hand, uh, right side action. So, um, so to have uh, to be um, have each time right uh, right modules, uh, we should take anti-linear functionals. So we can take and so on. But in fact, uh, what we have first, we have. Uh, the map M uh, from M to functionals, namely uh, M hat uh, acting on N is, uh, 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 is uh, the inner product of N by M. Uh, so, and clearly this is an isometric uh, embedding. Uh, uh, so, and uh, of course, for the next uh, next situations, uh, the same things, uh, uh, the same uh, operator. Uh, we have the same operator on each uh, uh, in each level. Okay, so if in fact we have an isomorphism, uh, then M is called self-dual. Uh, this is. Uh, not so uh, not so often uh, the case not uh, uh, rather rare uh, i mean um, i mean we have uh, for a unital algebra we have um, a say itself and uh, a uh, 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 a free module and uh, a pro projective finitely generated. So exercise, if A uh, is without unity, then it is not self-dual. In fact, uh, in fact, this will be uh, the space of multipliers. The space of multipliers will be uh, this uh, dual module. Okay. So um, now, mm, now if. Uh, uh, so also we have uh, a canonical inclusion as usual in the second dual space as uh, uh, in the same way in, as in 
a lot of situation in algebra and analysis because uh, so uh, so uh, so is, is this which which letter will be used okay so for a moment let go with i mm -hmm. then uh, i am uh, uh, i am of uh, say phi, this is phi of m. Okay, this is uh, the standard uh, canonical map to the second second dual in distant uh, senses. Uh, it um, uh, it arises. The distinct senses and situations and so on. So, um, so we have a map uh, on this way. So, um, and uh, also we have uh, this map because uh, if we have here, say. Omega, and this will be say, J, J of Omega uh, applied to M is, uh, is Omega applied to M hat. Okay, also a natural, uh, not, not, so, not so natural, it is not natural in Banach modules sense because this M hat mapping hat uses Hilbert module structure. So this is uh, not, this is uh, canonical only after, uh, after we have fixed. Uh, Hilbert module structure. Of course, before this we have no this map. Okay, but in fact, so if 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 M uh, is isomorphic to M uh, uh, M second dual, then of course uh, we called it reflexive. Uh, reflexive. Uh, so, um, so, yes, but, so, but uh, you mean that uh, you requested that I must be isomorphism and not just equality. You know? Okay, okay. okay. Because it, okay, I, okay. it, it okay. can be uh, this is, equality, this is, uh... but this is a heavy, heavy logical mistake. Okay, yes. of course, isomorphic. Yes. Okay. okay. Uh, so, uh, but in fact, in fact, and we will, uh, I will explain a little bit uh, uh, in several minutes. In fact, in fact, uh, we have no continuation of this series. Because uh, because uh, M uh, uh, third third dual of M is uh, canonically isomorphic to M prime always. Mm -hmm. So in fact we have only M M prime uh, and uh, and the second dual. Uh, so th they are they are, can be distinct. If these two uh, modules uh, are isomorphic, this is self dual. If these are isomorphic, this is reflexive. And also, is uh, there is a, a, a notion that uh, the property of isomorphism of these two modules. So we will um, 
this uh, is called uh, modules with Hilbert dual. Modules with Hilbert dual. Uh, so uh, I'll uh, say a little bit more later why they are called in this way. But uh, I need to say that M uh, uh, two prime uh, or um, seconda, I don't know how to say second do dual. Uh, it um, has uh, mm, has a canonical uh, structure of a Hilbert module. This is uh, an old result by. Uh, Bill Peschke. Mm. So, uh, so if it coincides, then there is, uh, he'll, this structure can be transferred by this isomorphism to M prime. So that's why we have this uh, definition. That's why we say in this way. Okay, <clears throat> so uh, so now um, I will uh, would like to say some more 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 um, uh, more specific on the subject. So, um, so uh, first, uh, let in, let us introduce uh, for one of these maps I and J, or so as I have forgotten. Let's uh, denote it by dot. So, if M is an element, then M dot is. In this, uh, uh, it's a second dual, and uh, uh, this will be like this. So this was our old eye. Okay, so um, uh, so um, so also if we have x. In the second dual, we can define x tilde in M prime. So by using uh, this formula, this is all J. Uh, so I'm trying to, uh, to <clears throat> put my, my notation in the um, to be coherent. So um, okay. So then we uh, can uh, can understand that if we have uh, take m dot and then tilde, then we obtain m hat. So uh, in fact, if we have, uh, so uh, in, in other words, so if we have m dot to m to prime and then tilde to m prime and here we have hat, so we have a, a commutative di diagram of this form. Okay, uh, so um, so in fact uh, we will need the for, uh, this, the next observation. Uh, this is also uh, Bill Peschke's result. Uh, let n be a submodule uh, 
of m prime containing uh, m hat. M hat, this is the image of m under hat. So uh, then uh, for any f in n prime, we have uh, the corresponding norm. Uh, we have that the corresponding norm is equal to the norm of the restriction. So, uh, uh, so f f and prime. Uh, this is uh, of course. the norm of uh, a function. And this is also uh, the norm of restriction of, a, of this functional. So, um, uh, so um, we can make, uh, make, um, Um, uh, so uh, so now uh, I'm ready maybe to write a, a formula so uh, the above mentioned Uh, product constructed by Bill Peschke on uh, the second year uh, is uh, so is defined in the following way. We can now write it by a formula. Of course, we have a lot of things to prove, but the formula is uh, is uh, the simple is is very simple. So. Uh, so this, uh, with the help of tilde, we go to M prime, and then we can apply uh, the functional. So this is the formula. Okay. Uh, so uh, so theorem. Okay. Uh, by Bill Peschke uh, is uh, that uh, this is uh, this is, uh, a product uh, on uh, on the second year and the norm and the corresponding Oh. Norm on M to prime coincides with uh, the operator, the operator one. And uh, and the map. Uh, 
uh, this is the first statement. And the second one, that the above map x to x tilde is an uh, isometry of, I don't like the word uh, isometry for, I, I, it's better, I, isometric embedding. It's better to say in this way. Isometry means an iso isometric isomorphism. And we have only isometric bedding, because it's only a part of the above module. So now, now uh, we start uh, with the uh, <clears throat> Uh, start uh, more modern results uh, and uh, the definition which was used in the talk of Vladimir Manuilov and that work uh, which uh, he has presented at uh, your seminar. So um, um, So a Hilbert system module over A is called a module with a Hilbert A Hilbert dual. Uh, if if the inner product uh, this initial one on M extends to an inner product. Um, and in a product uh, with time, um, on M prime, such that of course, uh, uh, what it means that uh, so uh, this uh, it follows from this that. If we take uh, uh, the head image of some element of M instead of F, then in particular we obtain this. So if you write only this, this uh, understandable, the, the, the property that it extends means the uh, right hand side. But we ask something more strong, something more strong as with partial participation of uh, functionals as on the left side. And of course, uh, M prime is complete with respect to uh, the norm uh, defined by this new inner product, okay?
so uh, proposition. M is a Hilbert system module with a Hilbert with a Hilbert dual. If and only if, uh, oh, it was uh, tilde. So the uh, it means that uh, the above uh, above map is not only an isometric embedding, but an isometric isomorphism. Okay. Uh, Okay, so uh, maybe at the moment I'll omit the proof. If I'll have uh, time, a little bit of time at the end of a talk, maybe I'll be back here to prove it, but uh, at the moment, uh, maybe it's better to go yes. for it. As to time, it is in your disposition. What Sorry? will be convenient? about time? What will be convenient to you? Please take your time. Okay, thank you. So uh, uh, this uh, currently, uh, I would like to go to some other results. Okay, okay. so but but maybe I'll be back to this. Okay, okay. so uh, now I would like to. Discuss uh, discuss uh, um, the following example. So let A be Uh, the algebra of uh, bounded uh, bounded functions. So, so this is not C zero, but C sub B, and uh, uh, and uh, oh. and M uh, is. C sub zero. Of, of course, uh, uh, this is an ideal. This is a situation which uh, we have. We know from more general examples above. Okay. Uh, so, um, so uh, now uh, also we wish uh, to have in mind that an important role here. Uh, plays the notion of a monotone complete uh, sister algebra. Uh, in fact, uh, for commutative algebras, we have uh, uh, we have a description of these algebras in commutative. Uh, okay, commutative algebra is uh, monotone complete if and only if it is an almost W star algebra if and only if if and only if uh, its spectrum is extremely uh, 
disconnected. So, but, uh, of course, so, uh, and the definition, so this is a, a characterization. The definition itself is that uh, uh, any increasing sequence uh, or net of, uh, uh, of uh, uh, positive, uh, non-negative non, non -negative of, uh, elements has a limit. So, uh, and this is the characterization in uh, uh, a characterization in the commutative case. So, I mean, uh, for us, it is important that so A is not a monotone complete sister algebra. Okay. Uh, not a monotone complete sister algebra. Okay. So uh, so uh, M prime, what is M prime? So M prime uh, is uh, is uh, M prime is A. In fact, is uh, is bounded uh, bounded set of bounded continuous algebra of bounded continuous functions. Uh, so. Uh, in what direction it is easy uh, to understand because evidently evidently CB01 uh, is in M prime because we can uh, take an element of M, multiply by element of A, and obtain an element of A. And uh, everything is continuous and nice and so on. So evidently, CB is inside of M prime. Uh, but uh, uh, to understand that uh, they, uh, they coincide, uh, uh, we need uh, uh, we need uh, uh, need the convert to prove to the converse inclusion. So to explain what to, maybe the proof. So uh, take uh, phi, phi in M prime and consider a countable. Partition of unity. So uh, each Fi is supported, is supported in. this interval okay then for any a in m this uh, this um, series series converges uniformly then phi of a is uh, 
is sum uh, of phi of a fi, and that is sum uh, over i a phi of fi uniformly. So, this guy yeah. is a multiplier of C0 corresponding to phi. Okay, so the the so uh, so thus m prime is a uh, and uh, clearly m two primes is m prime because uh, now. Uh, Because on the unital algebra, any functional is uh, determined uh, by its value in one. As I have explained, uh, A is self-dual. A algebra, unital algebra A, it was self-dual. We, we were speaking about this. So, uh, but, so, the, uh, so this example, uh, uh, so, uh, now uh, there is a, a corresponding theorem by Michael Frank mm -hmm. that uh, 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 that for uh, for a for a sister algebra A any M has um, in fact it, in his formulation it was like this uh, for any Hilbert module M the inner uh, the inner product can be extended to M prime if and only if A is monotone complete. Okay, so the above example shows that the situations uh, where uh, when uh, um, when the Hilbert uh, product is extendable to M prime, can occur uh, not only for monotone complete algebras, but in for general algebras and uh, not in very simple cases. So, so this uh, explains why this notion uh, the notion uh, uh, of a uh, module with Hilbert dual is um, is important. Uh, now, uh, uh, concerning uh, um, Concerning Friedholm operators, so going to Friedholm operators. In fact, uh, uh, partially this work, uh, which which I am speaking about, this preprint with uh, actually existing as preprint mm -hmm. with uh, with Vladimir Manuilov. In fact, um, 
uh, one uh, uh, one of the questions uh, which raised the interest and why we were thinking about this it was uh, that in our old uh, paper of uh, our uh, Mikhail Frank and myself uh, in proof of uh, some property of Fridholm operators there was a um, small inaccuracy. So, uh, in fact, uh, one of aims of this work, or byproduct, or some byproduct of the, of this development, is to give a correct a correct lemma, uh, which was used as a small part of uh, uh, argument of for home operators. So um, in fact, in fact, uh, there mm, it, it was claimed there that um, uh, uh, this was our paper and in and in some small lemma it was claimed, that uh, if we have uh, not necessary adjointable homomorphisms uh, over a C, uh, over a w star algebra in that paper we were studying not monotone complete but uh, more restrictive case of uh, w u star algebras and uh, uh, so uh, maybe a few, a few words so for example if we have So this, for example, this is T of M and this is N, okay? Then, uh, because there is, uh, so for, for this uh, function, so we have the inner product if uh, is, is, uh, is uh, like this, okay. So and there is uh, no function which uh, which gives zero being multiplied on all functions which vanish in zero. There is no such a function except of zero itself. So this is only a zero function, and. Uh, so this example explains so so in fact uh, in Hilbert modules also uh, very often we have no orthogonal complement so orthogonal complement exists so so we have say m sub n to modules m uh, orthogonal of course is defined uh, but there is no orthogonal decomposition. So this is orthogonal complement, which is not a complement in some sense. <laughs> okay. Uh, so uh, so this uh, so and uh, okay, and we claimed the. that if if m in, in this situation if m is self dual if m is self dual then we can define first densely and then extend uh, 
So Uh, so uh, here we use, in fact, uh, uh, this uh, the following observation that uh, um, if a module is self-dual, then each bounded homomorphism on it admits an adjoint. That's why we can write this star, T star, we can write only because M is self-dual. Uh, so... Uh, and we say that, uh, uh, claim that uh, uh, this uh, is a bounded module isomorphism M to M. And this is not the case. So, uh, so next example is the contra example to that uh, that our lemma. So we take a to be l sub infinity. This is W star algebra of bounded sequences. And uh, M is a. So this is, uh, once again, this is a uh, unital algebra, and then it uh, as a module, uh, this algebra as a regarding as, as a module, is it is self-dual because it has a unit element. So, so, um, now we consider uh, so so let delta sub n in a be a, an evident uh, delta function at the n place and at the nth place okay and uh, now we define a sub module in a2 of a n of uh, which is formed Uh, by uh, sequences a1, a2, and, and so on, such that uh, a n is Delta n a n. So each is each element is concentrated. This a a, a is an uh, is a, is an element of l infinity. But th this means that it is supported only at the nth point or at the point number n. At the point number n. Okay. Uh -huh. So uh, we will not discuss whether it, it is closed. We simply take uh, its closure. Its closure to obtain a Hilbert module. Uh, so uh, uh, take uh, lambda n uh, to be uh, the inverse to n. And uh, take T of A to be the following element. Okay, evidently it is, it lies in N. And uh, T M to N is injective. And uh, T of M orthogonal in N closed is zero. Is zero. 
this is evident. So consider F, which is uh, as above T star T in power minus uh, square root of inverse uh, operator and uh, then f of a will be uh, this uh, will have this action of f on a and this is the action is in fact diagonal so this is very easy to understand that this this lambda will be eliminated and when we obtain this thing uh, so uh, the range of f of uh, yeah. f sorry no no you're correct, yes. Uh, of f is uh, greater than n. Uh, is greater than n. So it cannot be defined as a, an operator to n because it contains f of one which is not in n and uh, you, and its closure is okay so this is a counter example okay so in fact uh, uh, in fact in fact this operator t Uh, maps M not to N, but to N prime. Mm. So, so uh, now to um, studying this pro these problems in the present paper, In the present paper, we uh, come to the following statement. This is uh, um, uh, this uh, statement is the following. Uh, in some sense, it is more general because we use monotone complete algebras instead of W star algebra, uh, W star algebras. But in some sense, it is more restrictive. Uh, let A be a monotone complete C star algebra. M and N Hilbert modules over A, of course, M is self-dual. Uh, T from M to N is an operator with Uh, double uh, orthogonal complement equal to n. So till till now, till till this moment, it was a repeating of that uh, the above theorem. Uh, but there is. Uh, one more restriction. This is 
an additional restriction, which very uh, which can be very often uh, deduced from the other properties, but uh, not in each situation. So formally, uh, a priori, it's an additional restriction. Where uh, T prime is the joint uh, operator uh, in the inverse direction from M prime to M prime. Okay. And then, so, so this was important that I have written where it is valued. Then M is isomorphic to N prime. Okay. So, uh, so uh, okay. Now I would like to speak the remaining uh, time about uh, the application of the results to Friedholm operator operators. Uh, so. So what are Friedholm operators? So we consider countably generated modules over a unital A. So at this moment, I don't uh, require uh, A to be monotone complete. Uh, but very soon uh, it will be necessary. So, but for the general for, for formulation, it's only should be unital. Okay. Uh, so typically, this is L two of A, or it's by or by, by Kasparov stabilization theorem uh, and orthogonal summons in. Uh, sub sub summons uh, in this L two of A, so this is more or less L two of A, and we have an adjointable operator. Uh, say F. So these guys are L two of A or, or or direct summons there. Uh, a jointable operator is called Fred, uh, Alfred Holm. Uh, so uh, th this so-called uh, mission Kofomenko Fred Holm operators. Uh, uh, of Friedholm if uh, there are direct some decompositions. So M here I'll write the sign of orthogonality to underline that this direct uh, sum is is a Hilbert sum. And for N, we have simply a direct sum, not necessary. Uh, not necessary orthogonal, uh, such that First, uh, F has the following diagonal form. So F is F0, F1, 0, 0, M0 plus M1. F zero plus N one. Okay. 
so uh, so uh, f zero maps m zero to m one f one maps m one to n one. Second, M1 and N1 are finitely generated projective modules. And uh, finally, F0 is an isomorphism. So it is an uh, probably M zero. Uh, oh, sorry, sorry. sorry M zero takes uh, F zero takes M zero to probably to N zero. N zero. Okay, thank you. Uh, uh, so, uh, so it is an isomorphism on the great part, on the large part, and is uh, somehow somehow defined on the finitely generated projective part. Then uh, this, uh, so this is a Fred Holm operator and its index is the difference of this genera uh, uh, generalized kernel which is not a kernel M1 minus N1. Th these are two uh, finitely generated projective modules. So we can take their classes in K theory and take its difference. Okay. So, um, uh, here the situation is uh, in contrast, and uh, this is uh, uh, in contrast with the space case when we have uh, a Fred Holm operator. When we have a Fred Holm operator, um, then um, we know that uh, its uh, image is closed. Roughly speaking, because the image of this software is uh, an isomorphic image of uh, so of an of n zero, so so this is n zero plus some finite finite dimensional. In the Gilbert space case, this sum is a closed subspace. So uh, mm, uh, we simply have. We have uh, we have This thing and we have. so um, if we um, if we work with um, um, uh, with a uh, with a, a single operator so elliptic operator for example and we don't consider elliptic complexes and so on and so on. It is sufficient for us. The sufficient, it means this definition. But if we wish to work with complexes and develop something like a Hodge theory for these theta complexes, we need a more something more close to this formula for the classical operator. And the above uh, uh, the above uh, consideration the above our above statement allows us to prove the following theorem uh, 
here, of course, let A be a monotone complete sister algebra. Okay. F is a breadcrumb. operator as above. Then then Index of F can be calculated as uh, can be calculated in this way, and uh, this is uh, yes, again, dimensions. In the last, not just curve. Sorry? Dim index is the <laughs> difference of dimensions. No. No. Index this is, is particularly. Uh, is a number. In particular. Uh, index is a number. And here a, is it's a number. In, it's, a, it's a number for A is uh, for A. Dimension of kernel uh, minus dimension of this. Yes, only only for A equals C. For yeah. Hilbert modules, this is not the case. As above. Yes, as above. But here, instead of some not uniquely defined and uh, some slightly uh, arbitrary modules. So of course there is a theory that this is, doesn't depend on the choice of these decompositions M1 and one and so on. The result in K theory of A is this, of course the theorem is exists, but we wish to have a, a direct calculation using kernel so in this equality, Alexander Yakovlevich, oh. this, equal, this equality, which I have written, in particular says that ah. this kernel is projective finitely generated module. Ah, yes. And yes. this guy is also finitely generated projective yes. module. So you have and we right. can take this difference. Yes, because it is in, in a group, yes. I understand, yes. Thank yes, uh, in, in particular, the, not for each module we can take uh, its class in K theory, only yes. for project finitely generated. And this yes. theorem asserts in particular that uh, they are uh, projective finitely generated. Okay. okay. So, so, yeah. Um, uh, uh, so uh, I have say four minutes uh, uh, more. So uh, I wish to understand uh, to underline here a, a couple of things. So mm, mm, this statement, this statement. Uh, doesn't suppose that uh, you have uh, uh, something like that. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> so, 
So we don't claim this because this part, this part F1, F1 of M1 inside N1, it can be organized uh, very, very in a bad way. Very, very in, in a bad way. But, but, uh, while proving, but this guy is finitely generated projective, in particular self-dual. And self-dual has an orthogonal complement. So, in fact, we first decompose M1 uh, is No. Okay. Yeah. And then using the our above um, general statement, we prove that in this case, This thing is finitely generated projective. So it has, so this is zero here. So this is ker kernel of F. This is That's fine. so. This is this may be, for example, something like C zero one and here C zero some vanishing functions or something like that. But this is not, of course, not monotone complete algebra. So this is, but something like this. But when we take the orth this orthogonal complement, we obtain a finitely generated projective, and it has orthogonal complement which uh, which has this inside it and uh, uh, the second orthogonal complement uh, the first orthogonal complement is zero here so we are uh, uh, we are in under conditions of our main statement so this thing and this thing, are isomorphic and we can exclude them from the difference so the difference only will be between this and this two projectively generated finitely generated projective mode okay so uh, i hope uh, that uh, uh, i uh, explain some ideas, uh, some examples, of course, no proofs uh, almost, uh, but uh, hopefully some impression of this activity uh, the audience has obtained. Yes. Thank you for your attention. Yes. So thank you very much. What we do usually. Yes. Uh, questions, comments maybe. Well, I have a question concerning the, the Hilbert tool. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. yes. Well, you said that uh, M prime has an inner product extending M. Yes. Well, but, but M prime originally has a norm, right? Operator norm. Yes. Um, did you mean they are the same? So norm generated by inner product and original norm, they, they should be the same? Yes, or not yes, possible? yes. Yes, yes. Oh, so this will be the, the same. Uh, this is uh, just a moment. Uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, the fact this property, the second property. Yes, this one, yeah. Yes. In fact, this gives the equivalence of norms. Ah, I see. Okay. So this is a, a, a general Banach space statement. So we, ah, I see. Yeah. yeah. But they must be just somehow comparable. Then you can state this one, right? So one side should be true. I mean, there must be some inequality between two norms and then they are the other same, right? 
so yes, yes, uh, in the, the definition itself is too weak. Uh, not weak, but uh, not everything is in the definition. What I think are some consequences of the definition? Because uh, from this, uh, we have uh, this equality, in mm -hmm. fact, means that the norm of functional is the same. Ah, yes, yes. In, in, okay. fa in fact, from this, uh, uh, you so you, we have these norms, okay? Uh, they are equivalent because uh, the space is complete and they uh, coincide on a dense set. Ah, I see. Okay. Because, uh, this is in some in some sense dense. So these two two uh, properties it forces uh, a positive answer to your question. I see. I see. Okay. So the yes. norms coincide. Okay. okay. Other questions? No. Uh, well, I have a question about uh, about your last result on fractal um, moderators. Um, so what happens if A is not uh, monotone complete? Uh, if A is not a monotone complete, as I, I was trying to draw here with the help of C0, okay? We cannot uh, say anything. We 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 should remain uh, in the original definition uh, of uh, Mishinka and Famenka, which uses some modules M one and then T two and so on. Of, um, even even we cannot replace M zero by kernel. We can, uh, we can, can, can happen the even, even in the image, we, we cannot ameliorate the situation. But, but there is uh, also a um, trivial observation, trivial observation, which was explored uh, from the starting of this, uh, uh, not explored, exploded uh, uh, from the very beginning. It, it, it is the following, uh, that... Um, you know this this operator f one from m one to m uh, to n one yes between two finitely jetty pro projective modules is a compact in Kasparov sense. So we can consider instead of f uh, f minus f one, okay then uh, this will be zero, okay? And then it will have closed image and closed uh, mm, and, uh, and its, its kernel will be a complement to F. So th this M M1 will be its kernel, okay? Because this will be zero, then it will be so in that case, we have we, we will arrive to the uh, good situation as uh, as in Hilbert space case. Okay, so the theorem is the statement is we have an a compact perturbation of our operator, which uh, gives it to uh, brings it to a, a nice form with closed kernel and uh, uh, close uh, uh, with um, finitely generated projective kernel and complemented image, closed complemented image. And we take uh, can take the difference of uh, kernel and co-kernel. Mm -hmm. but, so but after oh. some compact, compact uh, perturbation. But in Hodge theory, when we work with uh, uh, genuine, uh, so if you have uh, uh, some operators generated by symbol, elliptic operators and so on and so on, then work very, very approximately in topological sense, everything is okay. But in, when you work, uh, when you work, um, um, how to say, 
uh, when you work with um, something more differential geometric, okay, some differential operators. So Hodge theory, this is identification of uh, uh, the space of, of cohomology, the identification of, of cohomology with the kernel of Laplacian, okay? So this is uh, the essence of uh, Hodge theory in this context. So uh, if you wish to do something, you work with the specific differential operators. You consider not a differential operator up to some perturbation. Not, you have some concrete differential operator. So uh, of exterior derivative, for example, and so on. And you need to work with this operator. Thank okay, you. and for this uh, for this purpose, uh, 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 this theorem serves. Okay, so mm -hmm. this is the melioration of uh, of formula. Of course, we pay we pay some price. We restrict ourselves to the case of monotone complete algebras. And this is true for any sister algebra. What? Which? Which thing? Uh, uh, you, 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 what, what you have just said about f minus f one. So if we, uh, yes, yes, okay. yes. But yes. but uh, but uh, but uh, mm, uh, when you have here, uh, when you have this as some uh, operator of uh, say exterior de derivative or something like that in appropriate. Uh, Sobolev spaces, you have no natural way to uh, uh, make a distribute uh, to disturb it. So this uh, to, this perturbation is not a natural thing for the, for the differential theory, mm -hmm. but it is possible, of course, and. Uh, and uh, when you calculate something, you of course uh, when you write this uh, this formula, the definition of index, the, this original. In fact, you you disturb, you forget about this f one. You forget about this f one and okay, okay. Not so if there is no other questions or there are. Okay, so again, let us thank our speaker for a very interesting talk, and we hope to see you again in our seminar. No, of course. So, thank you very much uh, for attention and nice questions. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. So you are our desired guest always, and not so we we end. Thank. Thank you very much for everybody who was present, even being in the car. <laughs> so yes, I... it is. Bye-bye. <laughs> yeah. Bye -bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.